Hello everyone, Scoops here. Welcome back to some more open roads. Um, sorry for uploading, <laughs> uh, uploading a video that had no mic track in it. That was a big screw up on my part, but I've just finished uploading it now, so it should be there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode once you could understand what was happening. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Okay. So in the last episode, we were um, we discovered Tess, uh, her mom. I can't remember her name right now. Uh, they were basically rummaging through um, their gram grandma's estate <laughs> uh, because she passed away, uh, and they discovered kind of uh, possible links of this her grandmother going off to gallivant with another man, possibly hiding some secrets in their cabin that they found a hidden key for. Uh, and so the road, the open road begins. When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh, when I was, I guess, 15? Your age? I'm 16. Ooh. I meant about your age. <laughs> so super long ago, rude. So, a long time ago. Wow. No one's been there since Ooh, like, harsh. the 19th so cruel. century. So mean. <laughs> ha ha. What was the Industrial Revolution like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> Jesus, how old do you think I am? I mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think. Summer of 68. 1968. So, like, 35 years ago? And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house? And the dark ages, but yeah, the summer house. <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Everything, I guess. School, town same old every day just felt like it was ours when we were there huh. so what i'm confused about is like has nobody been up this summer cabin for 35 years like not get repossessed at some point like are they paying tax on it like <laughs> is it just abandoned somewhere in a fe fact uh like forest <laughs> i'm pretty sure like a place left on a bay on uh kempt for 35 years would just be a giant wreck so why did we- why did you stop going? So why did you stop going? Oh, um... Yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? He appreciates relaxing. He's a man of leisure. <laughs> is that what that phrase means? What else would it mean? He likes relaxing. He sure does. It's probably why I never mentioned it to him. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades out there in the middle of nowhere? That's, that's what I'm saying. Apart. Unless we discover that someone's been living there. It could still be? Probably won't. Nah, you're right. That sucks. Yeah, you're right. That sucks. I was hoping maybe we could fix it up. And use it as a vacation home? <laughs> We're about to be kicked out of our actual home. What would we need a vacation home for? Uh, a place live to live in? <laughs> to live in? Tess, I I'm sorry. It's... You couldn't live there. And not, not year-round. Why not? Why, well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter It's home. right there in the name. It's better than not having a home at all. Okay, fair enough. Then where are we going to live? Fine. Then where are we going to live? I don't know yet. We're going to be living in this car, aren't we? No. Just like when you lived in that van. We can find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but... Mom. What? We need money. Oh, when are you going to give up on the theater? 
When are you going to Sunk give cost up on fallacy. the theater? Give up on it? I'm responsible for keeping it running. For our performers and our audience and all those kids they bring to the theater on field trips. But how are we going to have money? Things will pick up. Ever since 9-11. Oh my god, Mom. Wow. This theory. Theater going has plummeted. Yeah, on Broadway. You think people are staying in because they're afraid of terrorism in Greenville? It's a national trend. You sound ridiculous. Well, yeah. maybe I am ridiculous. Yeah, maybe you are. When is this supposed to take place? <laughs> I forget. I think we discovered this in the first video. It was easier video. when your dad was still around. At least we had more than just my income to work with. And then he goes and runs off. Well, have you asked dad if he could send back some money to help? Absolutely not. <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money. But dad moved out west for work. Ooh, is that what he said? <laughs> well, don't laugh at me. I'm not. I'm not. It's just work. Sure. It, it wasn't for work? Then, then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not going to step in and take that responsibility for him, like I always did. Delinquent. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. <sighs> you idealize your father, you know that? And... I just don't really want to talk about it right now. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. I got testy. Ooh, I'm pretty sure I had my phone buzz from the glove compartment. Can I look at anything else, though? Can we look outside? What highway are we on anyway? Oh, this is the old two-lane north route from before there was a freeway. <laughs> It used to be the main route north, but now it's pretty off the beaten path. Looks gorgeous. That's the way we always took to get up to the summer place when I was growing up, though. And for the dilapidated so take it again. houses in the back. It doesn't fill you with confidence. Nice out here. It's nice out here. Peaceful. Mm-hmm. Used to be a lot more cars on the road, and little shops and towns along the way. But with all the traffic going up the freeway now, everything kind of died off. Sad. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, I remember doing this. Right, printing off instructions way back and before they had uh, cell service everywhere. That was a classic. Terrence Auto Parts. Can I do it for her? No, it's dangerous. What are you doing back there? Are you gonna do your homework? No. Reading in the car makes me car sick. Same. Then what are you messing with back there? I don't know. So stop it. It's not safe. Okay, fair, fine enough, I guess. Close it up. <laughs> Alright, looks like nothing but the glove compartment. Or the radio? Yeah, actually, driving in pure silence is weird. Is it okay like if it. I turn on the radio? I don't know how much signal we'll get, but... Yeah, sure. gonna find anything dodgy no I think it's forget it our registration pick up phone pick up pot hey she kept it nice uh pick up receipt where do you guys go ooh trimed gums perfect Judy's chips nice cherry fizzed can sit sit Teresa nice only four bucks hot oh, damn Wish I could snack for that cheap. Hey, Tessa Bear, just thinking of, of you. Uh, easy to forget about weekends here. Every day is a work day for me. Hmm, but maybe it's not. Maybe Dad's being a little liar. Hey, Dad, what's up? Not much at work right now, but I'm good to uh, but good to hear from you. Ugh, classic text, thanks. How's work going? Before autocorrect. Yes, 
such a time existed. Uh, how's work going? Oops, I skipped that. Would you be able to send some money back to help me and Mum? I don't know if Mum told you, uh, but we are moving out next week. I think it's good to be hard. It's going to be hard to pay for rent uh, at a new place and uh, stuff like that. Uh, do you think you could send some money back to help? What's happening here? I'd love to hit help, kid. Uh, I'd love to, kid, but right now my liquid assets are all tied up in reinvesting at work. If I sent enough back, that could help you worth a damn. Uh, without it sinking my business out here, you know I would. But your mom's always been the smart one. She'll figure things out. Don't worry. Okay. You understand that, right, pumpkin? Yeah. Uh, did you tell your mom you bought the tickets? Not yet. Me and mom are actually on a road trip right now. We are investigating a family mystery and going to her old summer house. Can you believe it? Wow, you need to tell her, kiddo, or else I will. And you know she would freak. LOL. Okay, okay. I promise I will. I know you. I know you will. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Actually, have to get back to it now. Treat your mom nice, okay? Love you. Love you. See you soon. Are hmm. you sending text messages to someone? Don't get radio signal, but get cell service. That's pretty impressive. Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. To who? It's to whom, mother? Ooh, grammar slam. Hmm. Just getting his side of the story, huh? Uh, no comment. It's all right. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. You're not my enemy. Or dad's. Sometimes it feels that way. Well, it's... Not supposed to. Grim. One of the loading things says eating beef jerky. <laughs> oh my god, is this the place? That's depressing. There's the van. <laughs> Mom! My god. Are it's you okay? still standing. I just didn't think it would still be here. Surely um, some squatters Mom, would have come in at some point. Well, it is. It's been like 35 <laughs> years. And it looks to be surprisingly well preserved. It's... Kinda. Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more... Rustic? <laughs> Rundown? Weathered. Than the last time I was here. Out in the but field? I didn't I expect guess I that. I am too. Look at this. Start looking around? Yeah. This is gorgeous. On the edge of a forest? This isn't exactly what I pictured when Mom said they had a summer home, but it's still pretty cool in a retro way. There's probably lots of cool old stuff inside from when Mom was a teen, and hopefully some clues to the identity of Grandma Helen's mystery van. But yeah, it's like on the edge of a forest? Wait, no it's not. It's in the middle of everything. Look at this clearing. Ooh. Imagine living here, just roaming this forest. It looks surprisingly well manicured. It's like a flower forest. It's a meadow. Not quite. All right, I gotta check out the scarecrow. Don't know why. Yeah, it's just weeds now. Did you do <clears> this <throat> with Grandma? No, August did. I never had a green thumb. She loved helping my mother in the garden. Really? Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Can you picture August getting her hands dirty out in the garden now? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> but if my mother was ever out in the garden, she was out there with her, helping the best she could. I remember one year, maybe when she was six, she started crying so hard when it came time to pick the berries and vegetables. I did the, the same. Plants worked so hard growing them. You can't just take them. Absolute travesty. Well, they no, scream. I feel bad for the plants. She was a sensitive kid. So am I. So what happened? Hmm? To August. She doesn't seem so sensitive now. Oh. Life happened, I guess. Somewhat grim. Any, anything about the scarecrow? No. Yeah. We'll uh, take a look around the perimeter. Ooh, we can see inside. Thank you, game. We always appreciate that. Looking at you, Bethesda. Whoa, do they have a dog? Can I get in this door? I don't want to go in the back door. Not yet. Nothing? I want to know if they had a dog. Ooh. That looks grim. 
Huh, what's under here? The crawl space for doing maintenance and what have you. So there might be like, hidden stuff under here? Like stuff that people who are trying to hide something might hide in there? I guess? I should go in and see if I can find any cool stuff. <laughs> How did I know that was coming? Just we actually going think in? of what could be under there. Hold on. I don't know if it's safe under there. It's a fair point. Not safe how? The floor could be unstable. What if something collapsed in on you? Stay outside and don't go stomping around on the floor above me and I'll be fine. Just be careful. You know it. Yeah, the bootlegger's gold. We have to know. God, this place would terrify me. <laughs> it's also weird to have this kind of space. I guess some places in Canada do. Um, but for I, where I am, if it's ever like any kind of proper house, like it needs to have a basement, pretty much. <laughs> hey, I see something there. This overall looks pretty barren. Dresser? Why is there just a dress? Who dragged this out here? Old tires, I could see. Oh. Oh, cool. Old dog, I think, maybe. It's kind of like a saber-toothed tiger. I wonder if dog skulls look like that. Question never asked. There's no way these paintings would be here, or uh, papers would be here. Ooh, Postcard. this is good. Mom's got to see this. Absolutely. Uh, I'm writing you from our new home, right on the water. I was looking and looking, and I realized there's no better home for us than the one we could just pull up anchor and split if we really needed to. Uh, so I bought us a houseboat. It's really something else. Uh, bought it from an older fellow who kept it perfect and was just done having to maintain it in his autumn years. Uh, there's a rumor go. Uh, there's a rumor that they're going to dam this river up. That's a long time coming, if it happens at all. Now, just to get you and those kids moved up here. Now, just to get you and those kids moved up here, hope it's been a good summer. Right back discreetly, and make plans for the big move. Uh, something I've learned since Leo died is that being loaded with cash is the only way to live. Okay, I mean, I guess if that's a choice, you might as well get ready to leave all your worries behind. Postcard, Libertyville, Lincoln, uh, Helen Divine. Ooh, still don't have a name, but yeah, that's something. Yeah, what are the odds? Oh, oh, we could go up. Mom, I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. So somebody opened this up, threw them down there. Presumably somewhat Mom, recently, because yeah, it I would degrade something. otherwise. Look, look. <laughs> Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat? Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like, well, it looks like a it's boat. It's a huge houseboat. House oh my boat. god. <laughs> the Eidolon. Nice. Mm, can't see much of the surrounding area. It's near... Trees? Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with trees. Wait, did it say that it came from Canada? I didn't see that. Are they in Canada? <laughs> Ooh. Kurt. Kurt. About two hours drive. I see a bit of the Great Lakes, I think. What's this about? Oh, that was the town where my boyfriend Kurt lived. You know, we were a summer thing, but we were planning on how we could keep seeing each other once we both went home after the summer. I guess I was feeling pretty lost. I latched on to him and held on tight. He became my plan for how I would be okay. And that didn't work out? Yeah, like these things often do. So how'd you end up with Dad? Sorry? Well, you didn't end up with Kurt. How'd you end up with Dad? Oh. It was a lot of years later that I met your dad. After college, I moved back to Greenville for my bookkeeping job. It was, it was actually when I was in one of the first plays I performed in at the Andromeda. Your dad was in the audience. He hung around outside the stage door after the show and flagged me down. He said there was a problem with the production. Classic. He was so distracted by my Ooh, beauty that he smooth. couldn't pay attention to anything else going on in the play. It's uh, hitting it out of the park. Aw, that's so romantic. It's like something out of a rom-com. I, I found it endearing at the time. He was very persistent. That's less endearing. Was dad <laughs> big into local theater? Uh, no. He told me later that he'd 
actually been at the play on a date with someone else. Ooh, the plot he thickens. He told her he needed to head home, then hung around the theater to talk to me. <laughs> wow. Bold. Did you find that endearing? I guess at the time I found it flattering. And a little funny. <laughs> I should have realized it was a red flag. Depends how many dates they're in, you know? It's like first or second? Yeah, you can deal with it. If it's like... 50? <laughs> That's a problem. Wait, are you saying Dad cheated on you? Wait, are... Are you saying Dad cheated on you? Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Just... Uh... You know, it's a sleazy move. So... Not the kind of thing Kurt would have done? Oh, I don't know. It's uh, Grandma's mystery lover, Kurt. Possible. It's the only other name we know. Okay, is there anything else fun here? Laundry? Check out the bedroom? No, we'll ch won't check out the bedroom just yet. Oh my god, is this the whole house? Ooh, hello. Now, what is this? <laughs> During the summers when we'd come here, I had a summer job as a waitress at the drive-in. On roller skates? Like in the movies? Yeah, I guess. And those movies were based on reality, you know. You were cute. Man, you can be so mean. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, please, Mom, stop. You were cute then, and you're a uh, hot mom now. Uh yeah, no, no denying that. <laughs> According to the boys at school, you are my hot mom. You didn't know about this? What? No! I am not. Oh yeah, no, it's it's great. It's great having all the boys at school talking about how hot your mom is. It's great. Regardless, this photo of you is yeah, real neat, and I much. think we should keep it. Sure, why not? Classic. Anything fun in the toilet? Confidential to precious stone. Uh, you're young, idealistic, and you trust easily. You have an open heart and a lot of pain to heal. Don't let somebody who's more than flash than substance take advantage of that. Precious stone. Ooh. Precious stone? Why would somebody keep this? Was this you? Uh? <laughs> this was to you? Subtle, right? <sighs> My mother was against me and Kurt being together from the start. To be fair, I would go off to who knows where with him and sometimes not come back till the morning. Ooh, now I understand controversy. she must have been as a mother. <gasps> you were a bad kid? Do you ever thank your lucky stars I'm not a bad kid? I don't know. You and Francine can stay up pretty late. <laughs> Playing The Sims and eating pizza rolls. Living the life. <laughs> yeah, you kids are wild these days. Nice. Toilet clipping was a success. Ooh, summer peach. Sounds good. And, uh, gee whiz, your hair. Fragrance shampoo. Just says fragrance. Doesn't say what kind. That's okay. Maybe, maybe it's best we don't know. Okay, yeah, there's more in the, into this place. Oh, there's stuff over there, too. Whoa. Go mechanics! Oh, Go! Man, I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Fort State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Oh. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family! You couldn't move without it being sexist legacy. back in the day. I don't even know if I want to go to college. I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. Ooh, gotta blaze I your can own make path. My own choices. What kind of choice is that? To be broke? I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18. Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. It just is. Aww. Well, howdy there. What's your name, buddy? Cute. Ooh, someone is a horse girl. <laughs> Rooster girl. Oh, how fun. Wait, did they not get to use these? 
Well, Michigan State Fair, good for one hayride. Drive-in theater, admit one. Oh, a key. Heck yeah. Take it. This looks like it's for a car or something. Oh, the that's van the outside? key to my old yeah. van out front. <laughs> August was always stealing the keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. Well, well. Look who's going to be messing with your stuff now. I uh, found the key to Mom's old van. It may not run anymore, but I bet it's got a bunch of cool hippie stuff. No over video the games back then, I guess. Poor, deprived kids. The closer. I don't want to. Machio. Machico. Nice. <laughs> Anything fun in here? Okay, let's read it. One day, August rode her bike to town because of how sunny it was. Because it was sunny, her friend Nightshade. <laughs> That's just like their real name. <laughs> I uh, had to follow behind under the trees because he lives in the shade and shadows can't go in the sun. August laughed as Nightshade rang along under the trees and she and Night uh, Nightshade made jokes together. When August and Nightshade got to the town, there were boys outside the general store. They saw August's special tie that made her safe, but it didn't make her safe from... Them. The mean boys came closer. They said, who are you talking to and what are you wearing, stupid? August said... My dad's tie. The mean boys said, your dad must be stupid. August is crying, but the mean boys didn't care. They laughed and laughed. August looked for Nightshade, but Nightshade couldn't help because he was trapped under the shade of the... Uh, he was trapped in the shade under the tree far away. When the mean boys went away, August went under the tree with Nightshade. August's special tie was all dirty. She gave Nightshade a hug to feel better, but it didn't help enough. <laughs> I don't think we need to <laughs> learn more about that. A map. Oh. We go and digging. It's like the hand of August. I'd recognize that penmanship anywhere. This piece was clearly done by an accomplished artist. A cartographic prodigy? Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. Maybe she was going to come back for it later. It was her first investment. Gold. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is. Absolutely. We have to. There can be no other way. Bootlegger gold? Probably not. Paint set. Pick up note. Uh, Dear August, you're upset after what happened today, and that's all right. You need a time to yourself instead of talking to me, and that's all right, too. But upset as you are, you need to remember, boys only tease girls because they like them, or because they're different. You cannot control the cruelty of others, but you can discourage it through your own appearance. Ooh. <laughs> Behavior or learn to play along. It's time to grow up for now. I know you will. Ooh, that's that's a bit rough. That's not it's not that's not cool anymore. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this advice. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this advice. This doesn't sound very Millie to me. Millie was just a character, honey. I, I know, but didn't she usually give advice grandma would have given? How could you tell a little kid that getting picked on was their own fault? I don't know if that's what she meant. It's right here. She's like, if people are mean to you, you should change. What, the bullies are right? She never told me that kind of thing when girls were being mean to me at school. She just told me to be myself. I guess... Maybe she learned. Well, maybe if Mother could have gone back and given August the advice she gave you instead, she would have. I hope so. Possibly. Put it back. Anything up top? No. Ouija board? Oh my god, Aunt August. Spirit, though. I have so many questions. Yeah, we don't need to dig into that. Uh, I guess we'll check out the other room. We could go outside. I definitely go want, would do want to go check out. Actually, let's do that right now. Let's go see if we can dig up some potential treasure, potential gold, <laughs> potentially nothing. There's like a round in this corner here. Dig. You ready to unearth this mystery? Let's do it. You are really getting into the mess on this trip. Crawling through old crawl spaces, digging in the dirt. It's for the sake of the adventure, Mom. Don't let me stop you. Do you have a shovel? It's just, just with bare hands. Ooh. Oh, we got... Oh, the tie! Ha! <laughs> nice. Nightshade. I think we're just dumping it on the ground. Goodbye, Nightshade. Thank you for being my friend. I'll miss you. 
Is this a real so person? This is where August buried her feelings. Mom! Come on, it's sad. What? I don't know. Maybe we should keep it. Maybe August would want it. Absolutely. I think so too. We can just put it in the car. Welcome back, Nightshade. Who's that the real treasure was the friends we made along the way? Just kidding, it was actually the grave of August's imaginary friend, Nightshade. I feel bad for disturbing it. A little bit, but such is life. Okay, uh, I guess we can check out uh, this room here. What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Well, dang it, that door stuck. I think. Look, we could twist just ram the it open. open if, <laughs> I think I could get this open with a flathead screwdriver. Ooh. Awesome. Where's one of those? Um. Oh. I had a little toolkit in the glove box of my van. The path is nice. laid clear. Door to Grandma's Hell's room is broken, but it's going to take more than that to keep me from snooping. Uh, Mom said we may be able to jimmy it open with a little screwdriver she kept in her van. Uh, there is another door to get in, because I think the front door... Actually, no, I just came out the front door. There's definitely another room we can't get to then. Oh, wait, unless this is it. There's another door over there. Oh, my God. Family garden. Ooh. Ah! Okay. TV time. Does T Wait, what does it say? Does TV advertisement really work? We'll never know, unfortunately, because we abandoned TV before too long. Just kidding. Maureen Hansen, her fabulous TV debut. Thank God. We were all waiting for so long. Wait, I want to see what that is. Pick up letter. Ooh, let's read it. Opal, I'm having so much fun. It's a total blast out here. Really, you have to come. I know you go out of your uh, out to your little summer house every house every year with your family, but I really think you should consider working at the park with me next year. It's all people our age running the rides and concessions and games. Uh, plus, when the park closes, you can ride the rides as much as you want. Woo, as long as whoever's running it isn't a jerk. Promise you'll come with me next summer. How are things out in the sticks? Are you still working at the drive-in? If you don't have any luck with the guys out there, <laughs> wait until you come here. Woo, the girl guys are unreal. Uh, I've seen stuff that would make your hair curl. That's a, that's a handsome lad. Uh, say hi to your family from me. I'm going to write you every week, just like last year, so don't forget to write back. Your friend who is having lots of fun and wants you... Lots of fun and wants you to be here desperately. We need another party. Mom, you know what it sounds like. You had a Francine. <laughs> I guess I did. I've never heard of Lori before. Are you still in touch with her? It was short for Dolores. Maybe you've heard me talk about my old friend Dolores? No, I don't think so. Hmm. I mean, we haven't spoken in years. One of those friends you have in high school and then college happens and, you know. Ah. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna choose optimism. That's never gonna happen with me and Francine. We'll still be friends when I'm as old as you. A very long time from now. Like, so long from now. Wait, you're not implying I'm old? No, of course not. Couldn't possibly remember but to the God, beginning. it's gonna be a long time from now. A little rude, but, you know, I guess we'll move past it. So many notes everywhere. Benedict Messenger. What's Fallout? A new series on Amazon Prime coming out April 11th. Very excited. Ah, okay, wait, let's check this out. August's new friend uh, by August Divine. Uh, August's dad left her a special tie. It was a red tie and had the special powers. When August wore the special tie, she met her friend Nightshade. Nightshade lived in the shadows and would always be there to help. He was August's friends who would never go away. Absolutely. Open drawer. <gasps> Locked. Maybe yes. the little key from Grandma's diary? Nope. What's oh, I forgot we have to do that. Little drawer. Found a locked drawer in the desk in the living room, but the key from Grandma's diary didn't open it. Maybe we can find another key? Maybe we could find a gun? 
Maybe it's the rifle. Look closer. I gotta know this. Oh, look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me. Ah. Uh. Fair. <laughs> we, well, we met at the drive-in diner. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> we already discussed I, this. <laughs> well. I think I, was he cute? I went in the back door first. I thought he and was I think uh, we're doing a little out of order and here. He rode a motorcycle. Oh my god, a bad boy? Did you wait? Did you roller skate his order out to him on his motorcycle? H how did that work? He parked the motorcycle and sat at a table inside. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Sorry, getting caught up on the details here, but tell me more about Kurt. It. Well. Honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh... Cool? On his motorcycle? <laughs> he was very... romantic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. Oh, like that. Well, a little like that. Oh, no. So, what happened? Did you break up with him, or...? You know, uh, life I happened. I don't remember. It was just a summer thing. It doesn't really matter. Wow. Did I hit a nerve? Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things? Relevant things sound good. We're approaching 40 minutes. Is that a key? No, it's just a weird... Yeah, what happened here? Oh, I didn't want a dialogue. what happened here? <laughs> I wanted What's an inner monologue. Way? Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Was it on oh, the roof? That's, that's why you said water damage. I get it. I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No. God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. Oh, it just like crashed out of like, I don't know, its own room. It was this. I said pick up something. Oh, magazine. Yeah, it's fine. These have seen in better days. Yep. Whoa, what is this? Turkeys! Vitamin enriched dog food. Did I take it? Oh, never mind. Gotta look for a key. Box of crackers. Plain crackers. Now with enriched flavor. <clears throat> gotta be something around here. I gotta find the key. Oh, there it is. Hey, could it be the key for the locked drawer in Grandma's desk? It very well could be. Only one way to find out. I gotta check out these notes first. I gotta know everything, right? You're invited. D, flip over. Cindy and Marks. Nice. Let's read it. Uh, darling, I know I'm running from something, but I've never have felt so free. I just crossed the border, and I'm writing you from the desk in a room at a motel that's hidden off a little side road far from the main high, main throughway. Uh, there's more driving to do before I find us a little place to settle down, but before long, I'll have to return address for you to write back to. Uh, don't miss me too much. True color. Plan for more beautiful parks. <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay, so now we know... I don't even know, actually, D. Yeah, okay, now we know why he came from Canada. I did this out of order. <laughs> well, would you look My at mistake. this? My mistake. My mistake. A postcard from the mystery man. What was he running from? Shame. His conscience? <laughs> I don't know if you can outrun your conscience by going to Canada. You can. You can if, uh... I'm trying to think of a Canada joke. That's hard. Most people can. It's not working. That's okay. I'll give you an A for effort. Decent. <gasps> not bad. <laughs> Bested. Put it back. Okay, let's open the drawers. Let's get into Grandma's drawers. I didn't mean to pick up the plate. <laughs> Woo! Pick up the postcard. All right, let's read it. Darling, I've been driving up and down the highways and byways looking for the perfect spot, somewhere secluded, where no one would think to look. 
With a little bit of space, and I know you always like to place near the water. I'll find something soon. Just keep biding your time and don't let on. Pub by Ohio. Okay, that's just, uh, we don't need to do that. Got any apple seed? Let's look at it. Come find us. Aha! They were really gonna run away together, huh? At least he was. He thought so anyway. <laughs> Whoever he was. Why do you think Grandma decided not to run off with him? He sounds well, dodgy. She just came to her senses. She could have gotten swept up in all the emotions and everything after Father died, and then when the time came, she thought better of it. Maybe. Or... Or... Maybe he thought better of it. Maybe something super messed up happened. Maybe something super messed up happened. <laughs> like what? He died. Um... Okay. He was driving on these secluded back roads and whatnot, and he picks up a hitchhiker. And the hitchhiker gets in, and he asks him where he's headed. And the hitchhiker says, All the way to the end of the line, man. And the hitchhiker's just staring off into the distance like he's lost at some faraway place. And then all of a sudden, with no warning, he pulls out this huge rusty bowie knife. It's actually pronounced Bowie. What? No, what? it's like <laughs> the last name, like David Bowie. Different last name. Bowie. Are you just messing with me? No, that's how it's pronounced. I gotta look this up. Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> maybe this guy got killed by a crazy hitchhiker. That's all I'm saying. Well, that would be super messed up. Be less than ideal. All right, uh, let's go out to the uh, van, because I think we've basically hit everything out here. And then I'm hoping, desperately hoping, there's not too much more. <laughs> Can I get in? How do I get in? In the back? Oh, it's everything I'd imagine. Oh, nice. Gingham... <laughs> Gingham Acoustic curtains. Guitar. <laughs> a concerning scent of mold? I think I that's mean, to be expected. Expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. You're so we're looking, looking for a screwdriver. For screwdriver, right? Right. Don't get too nosy, all right? Get a little nosy. All right, all right. But look at all this stuff. Guitar's a bit weird. Play Bill, wow. death of a salesman. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. School for scandal. Pick up letter. Wow. Read it. Uh, are you getting my ooh? Are you getting my letters? Letters? I haven't heard anything from you since you told me about Kurt. I've been writing you every week. Uh, things at the park are lame. All the fun people left. Now it's just me, Gordon, and the dorks from Sandusky. Uh, if I don't get anything back, I'm just going to assume you're too preoccupied with Kurt to write to me. At least one of us is having fun. <clears throat> I'll talk to you in school. Uh, talk to you when school starts, I guess. Unless I'm too busy. Ooh. Yeah, that hurts. That's that's not what you like. Okay, something in the glove compartment, right? Okay, well, we gotta look at the letter, right? Holy shit. Ooh, babe. This summer's been real out there, but I've got a split. I'm not hip to another winter with snow. I'm on my bike heading to Cali. Look me up if you're ever out that way. Ooh. Take it. Take it. And what is this? Oh, it's the owner's manual. That's fine. We don't need that. Ow! How is the stuff? Groovy as you'd hoped? Extremely. Well, I found, um... This note? From Kurt? This. You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? No. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. What a dick. I'd put all my energy into plans. Planning how we'd be able to stay together. Planning how our life was going to be. Planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this. No good. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. Seems like an asshole. He seems like an asshole. 
Hey, language. <laughs> Sorry, but he was. <laughs> but he was? All right, you're not wrong. Thank you. There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. You can't rely on other people. What? Yes and no. If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you... That's a no. <laughs> one day, they won't be. So you just shouldn't have friends? Yeah, so come what? on. You shouldn't have friends or relationships? Well, no, I just mean... You can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away. And be okay on your own when they do. It's kind of true. You... You're making it sound like... Are you saying Dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> well, either way, he's not here, is he? Mom... That one can't be denied. What happened? With you and Dad splitting up? He always makes it sound like... Like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, See, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Okay on your own. <laughs> if you're fine on your own when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Kind of true. It's good to be self reliant in a relationship, well, but you know, I've got the screwdriver. Part of the fun, the whole reason good. we do it is to That's kind good. of rely on each other. Two pillars standing up, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's uh, go open the door. Reveal this mystery. Hope we can find that locked door somewhere. Uh, let's be through here. Here we go. Ah, this house has door. three entrances. We meet again. Or if you count time, the I'm ready weird for crawl space one. Seems really locked up. Okay, close. But hey, good work. Thanks, Mom. Alright, Grandma, reveal your secrets. <laughs> Freaky. Yet... Appealing. I don't you know what that's supposed to be. Oh, Grandma. Kind of a bunny, I guess. Oh, that's a little horrifying. Postcard. The space for writing messages. <laughs> Darling, now wait. It sounds like someone's getting cold feet all of a sudden. We had a plan. Leo dies, I make tracks for the border, and when the dust settles, you follow me. This doesn't work if only one of us makes tracks. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, I've got everything you could ever hope up here, a place of our own, a little quiet town where nobody knows our names, and a pile of cash that'll keep us going till who knows when. Kids will love it too. What kid wouldn't want to live on a boat? Get these silly ideas out of your head, get back on track, and we'll get together soon. Okay, well, we gotta ask Mom about this one. Would you have loved living on a boat? Ha <laughs> ha. I don't think so. Once he I dies, that's so grim. I was. Ugh. I couldn't have thought a teenage girl would want to... <laughs> Wait. I, I hadn't even thought of that. My mother was just going to take me and August, and we were all going to run off to Canada? With a I mean, wad of, of cash for some reason? Behind, but... <laughs> Sounds like Grandma had some big plans worked up. Well, look, he said she started having cold feet. and She must have written him back and said she wasn't sure if she could come after all. You think she realized that maybe her kids wouldn't have been so happy moving onto a boat with some random man in Canada? Can I start calling him Canada Man? Yes. You can call him whatever you want. This is so strange. Love makes you do crazy things. Love or grief? Both? Yeah, this is bizarrely upsetting. <laughs> Read a book, pick up Bible, nah. We're good. Got any any drawers I can open? No? Good. Ugh. I've never liked that style of art, I will say. Easter goose. Kinda cute. I wouldn't want it in my house, but it's kinda cute. Queen Queen Royal Flesh. Poker. Oh, my oh this is the key. This, this is what we I need. Remember when she brought it home from the flea market. This is why we're here. Jeez, how many desks did grandma have? <sighs> um Kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. If only we had a key. Hmm. This gives me an idea. Smash it open. The little key? From Grandma's diary? <gasps> right. 
All right, now we get to discover. Ooh. Okay, sympathy card. Open. Thoughts are with you, Janet and David Richards. Thoughts are with you, Helen. So sorry you have to hear about your loss. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. The salty man? Wait, what does that say? The saltsman's. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't too far off. Alright, and then we got one little scandalous note. Helen, you can't just leave me here. I did all this for you. All for you and those kids... Those are my kids too, you know. I have a right? What? Those are my kids too? <gasps> what? What does that mean? Flip over. Pierre Lautrec. Up to like Cairndale, Ontario. Never heard of Cairndale. Oh. Uh, oh. I'm sorry. What? My what kids does he too. Mean when he says those are his kids. Uh, I. Well, was Grandpa Leo n not your real dad? Or did Grandpa Leo not I, really die? Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you and August and Grandma Helen? I can't even oh, imagine. I actually got chills. Look, look, Mom. Ooh. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9. Hop to Lake. Carndale, Ontario. <laughs> we have to go check it out. We have to. We should go check it out. No choice. What? No. No? But... Tess... We He's got a pile of cash. However many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff, I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house but to we will. up and I still need to call the electric you know company it. to schedule I know it. the service. It's which happening. Which I probably should have done sooner and... Mom, stop. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. The house can wait a day. This can't. The house can wait a day. This can't. I mean, it can. The house actually can't wait. A day. I mean, come on. It can't be that far of a drive. It says it's right across the border. And if we don't do it now, you think we're really ever going to come back? You could find out who this guy really was. Who your father really was. Who we really are. But not if we just turn around and go home. Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I, I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. Yeah, yeah, we did. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with, and, and why she never told me about it, and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other... Then why not, right? Right. Glad I could convince you. No, you just happened to be right. Exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited Ooh, about. Oh, I think we did. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. Ooh. What the heck? Is this Pierre Lautrec guy mom's real dad? Scandal! We found an address someplace in Canada. We've got to go check it out. Time to hit the road. I'm going to find the way to... What is this? Now we don't need to do that. All right, that was a pretty big success. Okay, let's uh take take a look at this and then probably call it because I imagine this is the uh, end of this chapter. Oh, 54 minutes, almost an hour. We'll get through it. We'll go. We'll go quick. I want to get through this game quickly. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, but you know, probably not going to be the most successful thing I've ever done. So, uh, yeah. Alrighty. Cool. All right. Pause it right there because that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you had a good time. Hope to see you again next time. Have a good day. Bye.